Hello everyone. Before we get started on our Honors Night celebration, I want to thank everyone in the FMS community, all of our students, teachers, administrators, and support staff, but specifically our families for actively participating in your students' education and the FMS community as a whole. Whether that is putting in hours studying or working on your science fair projects, attending the Think Pink game, donating and giving back to the numerous charities and initiatives that we partner with at FMS, I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now onto the reason that we are here. Tonight we are honoring those students that have shown academic excellence and achievement. We are honoring students who have perfect attendance. We are honoring students who have continuously stepped up and met the challenges and rigor put in front of them and have come out on top. These are honor roll students. These are students of the month. They are the best of the best. They are Falcons. And to all of this I say thank you. I would also like to say keep it up. Keep striving for excellence. Keep those good study habits sharp. Keep that desire to be excellent even when faced with adversity. The skills, drive, habits, and grit you have learned and displayed at FMS will take you far. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome everyone. I'm Faison Sheikh, one of the co-presidents of the eighth grade beta club. And I am Ruth Becker, the other eighth grade beta club co-president. And this is the COVID version of Honors Night. Did everyone wash their hands and use hand sanitizer? Good. Now please remember to stay six feet away from the device you are using. Ruth and I want to practice safe social distancing. Well everyone, we are in a unique situation. Just as we're about to celebrate the end of another school year and we're looking forward to the formal honors night and many other events, the world was struck hard by a global pandemic. I know being stuck at home 24 seven is probably not how you thought your last few months of the 2019, 2020 school year would be. But I've been trying to make the most of it and I hope you have to. FMS, a family, a sense of belonging, that's what comes to my mind when I think about my time at Franklin, and I'm sure yours as well. So to the sixth graders, congratulations. You have finished your first year at Franklin Middle School. Although the years ahead may appear uncertain at some times, just know this school will help you prosper in unimaginable ways. The seventh grade teachers will welcome you with open arms and provide a fun environment while teaching at a very high level. Seventh grade is the year where you are going to find out what speaks out to you the most. You guys won't be the new kids anymore. There will be more homework and long-term projects signed. If you don't procrastinate and stay focused, you will succeed and do very well. To the seventh graders, as you enter your final year at Franklin Middle School, truly savor every moment. If I had known that my eighth grade year would end like this, I would have savored being a Falcon just a little more. You guys will be the seniors of the school, the people that the 6th and 7th graders will look up to. So make sure to lead by example. Take advantage of the extracurricular activities, clubs, and sports. The activities that I was a part of taught me to be the person I am today, and I highly recommend them. Now, to my fellow 8th grade classmates. We did it. As a class, we did indeed start from the very bottom. Although we did not get a proper graduation, end of the year dance, summer trip, or final honors night, we did get three years full of opportunities that only helped us grow as individuals. Our time at Franklin was full of wonderful memories, dating back to the solar eclipse on the first day of our sixth grade year, to the second annual ALS Go Blue Boys basketball game. We overcame many obstacles, but also had many successes as well. The volleyball team from our seventh grade year became the first school in District 186 to win state. The Scholastic Bowl team last year also went to state and placed second. And this year, the baseball team went all the way to the regional finals. We are all embarking onto the next phase in our lives, and the teachers have prepared us extremely well for this transition. And I'm confident that we will succeed as a group and individually. As I continue on, I will hold the memories, friendships, and lessons the school has given me. I entered this school as a timid sixth grader, not knowing what to expect. But now, as I leave, 
I can say with absolute certainty that I leave as someone who is eternally grateful for her years spent here, and because of it, is well prepared for what the future holds. From canned food drives, United Way contests, student for staff basketball games, think Pete games, go blue games, to science fair projects, genius hour presentations, field trips, beta club conventions, and many more activities, Franklin Middle School proves that gaining an education can be fun. Finally, to the staff here at Franklin Middle School, thank you. Thank you for making our middle school experience better than we could have ever imagined. There is truly no way to ever repay you. Let me end by three points that stood out to me at the Graduate Together High School Class of 2020 commencement speech. One, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of the COVID-19 situation that we are in right now. I have no doubt in my mind that we will come out even stronger than before. Two, do what you believe is right. Our priority should be on honesty, hard work, and responsibility. Instead of doing what is easy and comfortable, do what will make the world a better place. The last point is to build a community. No one creates something of significance just by themselves. If we are going to get this difficult time together, we will need one another, so let's stand up for one another's rights. Let's pledge to be a part of the solution and not a part of the problem, as we are the generation that will shape the world's future. Always remember, no matter where you go, once a falcon, always a falcon. Good evening. The Phyllis Ann Holtzman Nitzkin Eva Holtzman Memorial Award is given to eighth grade students from Franklin Middle School each year for attaining a high level of performance both academically and in citizenship. Each student will have his or her name engraved on a plaque that is displayed at Franklin Middle School. Mrs. Eva Holtzman established this award in memory of her daughter, a former teacher in District 186. This year's recipients are Malik Watkins, Hannah Hill Scherf, and Damian Marion. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Mrs. Nesbitt. I will be presenting the Mildred Dietz Award. The Mildred Dietz Award is given to an eighth grade student who has attained high academic achievement and has demonstrated outstanding service to the school and to various activities. The student represents a model school citizen, outgoing, supportive, vivacious, and enthusiastic. This year, the winner goes to Ruth Becker. Congratulations. The Michael J. Colton Social Studies Award. Michael J. Colton was a geography and history teacher at Franklin Middle School for 20 years. He was known for his love of social studies, his organizational skills, and his keen sense of humor. Mr. Colton was a dedicated educator who spent much of his life teaching and influencing young adults. This award is presented to a student who demonstrates the same passion for social studies as Mr. Colton. This student excels in the area of academics, is well organized, well behaved, and projects a positive attitude. This year's award goes to Ohm Nimavat. Congrats, Ohm. Hello everyone and welcome to our honor celebration. My name is Rachel Giacchino and I am representing Springfield Chapter DAR. The threefold purpose of the National Society, Daughters of the American Revolution, is exactly the same today as when organized in 1890 and chartered by an act of Congress in 1895. The purposes are, one, historical, to perpetuate the memory and spirit of the men and women who achieved American independence. Two, educational, to cherish, maintain, and extend the institutions of American freedom, to foster true patriotism and love of country, and to aid in securing for mankind all the blessings of liberty. Three, patriotic, to carry out the injunction of President George Washington in his farewell address to the American people, to promote as an object of primary importance institutions for the general diffusion of knowledge, thus developing an enlightened public opinion. We try to achieve our threefold purpose by encouraging the study of American history and presenting Daughters of the American Revolution history medals to eighth grade students who have excelled in the study of American history. It is an honor and pleasure to present the Springfield Chapter Daughters of the American Revolution History Medal and Certificate to K. 
Katherine Meyer. Congratulations. I'm Dr. Leslie Frederick, Vice President of Student Services at Lincoln Land Community College. Since 2005, LLCC has partnered with the middle schools of Springfield School District to award a tuition waiver to one eighth grade student from each middle school. Lincoln Land and Franklin Middle School understand the value of continuing education beyond high school, which is why we're honored to present the award again this year. The recipient of the award will receive a waiver redeemable for 30 credit hours at LLCC, which covers approximately half the cost of an associate degree. The 2020 FMS scholarship recipient is Hannah Hill Scherf. Hannah is known to be an excellent student and self-motivated. She is a member of the FMS Art Club and was often found sketching during lunch. Hannah started taking more advanced classes this year and despite feeling a bit overwhelmed, she kept a positive attitude and persevered. Congratulations, Hannah. I look forward to seeing you at Lincoln Land someday soon. AVID stands for Advancement via Individual Determination and is a student-centered program that prepares students for college and careers while striving to close the opportunity gap. AVID students possess a willingness to work hard and continuously demonstrate positive academic behaviors. This award is presented to all 8th grade AVID students. Congratulations, 8th graders. Congratulations to all the students who had perfect attendance. Congratulations to all the students who made honor roll. And now for the Presidential Award, students that maintain a GPA of 3.67 to 4.0 all three years of middle school and scored and exceeds on the seventh grade standardized assessment in math or language arts receive the Presidential Award. Congratulations to the FMS Students of the Year.
Hello, Falcons and parents and other family members. My name is Teresa Greco. I am the assistant principal and athletic director at Franklin Middle School. And it is my great pleasure to announce the winners of the Falcon Award. The Falcon Award is given to one girl and one boy who are a combination of different things. One is that they, uh, the students played in multiple sports. Two, the students are good academic students. And three, that they are good citizens. And it is my great pleasure to announce that Emma Scheffler is the female award winner this year. She played both softball and basketball this year. Um, she has played basketball throughout her career. She's a uh, straight-A student, great kid, and will be going on to play basketball in her high school career, I am sure, joining her father at Springfield High. And moving on to the male athlete winner, congratulations goes out to Anthony Donald. He ran cross-country, he, he played basketball, and he ran track. And he did that for all three years. And uh, right now, I think he's slated to go to Southeast, uh, but wherever you go, you will be amazing. I know both of you. I wish you the best in your high school careers. To the whole eighth grade student body, I congratulate each and every one of you and uh, wish you great success as you move on to high school. Remember, once a falcon, always a falcon. And don't ever forget, it's all about choices. Congratulations to all of the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students at Franklin Middle School that are able to participate in the 2019-2020 Honors Night. We are super proud of you and all of the hard work that you have put in. I wish we could do this in person as we have in years past. However, I have to congratulate you this year virtually. Keep up all of the hard work. Enjoy your summer until we meet again. We would like to congratulate all of our students who were honored during the 2019-2020 FMS Honors Night. Students, if you did receive an award, we have them here at Franklin Middle School for you. When it is your designated time to return your textbooks, laptop, etc., you may also pick up your Honors Night envelope. Again, congratulations. Your hard work definitely paid off this school year. And also, congratulations to our 8th graders who are going to be moving on to high school. We are going to miss you. Falcons, once a Falcon, always a Falcon. I always love having the opportunity to come to the Honors Night here at Franklin Middle School. I'd like to thank all the parents and the teachers that have dedicated themselves to helping you get to this place this evening, and also thank Mr. Davis and his team for supporting you throughout your journey. Sixth and seventh graders, we'll see you back next year, and I can't wait to see the great things that you will accomplish. And eighth graders, remember, you are always a Falcon. Falcons have energy, ambition, amazing vision, and willpower. Take these strengths with you to your next step at high school, and I look forward to seeing everything that you can do. Have a great year, and thank you.